Hey everybody. So I have been doing some work on this over the last few days. Uh, mainly, as you'll probably notice from the last videos, is that I've painted all the back walls black and uh, all of the side walls, such as these right here, I painted both sides black to help out on killing the subsurface scattering so light doesn't go through. And there will be a lot of lights on this model. I'm just starting to realize how many. For example, this wall here, there's uh, three columns by six rows, or uh, three rows by six columns, and there's three of those. There's 54 little sections there, and in the show, every single one of them has its own individual light. There's three basic colors, yellow, orange, and red. Uh, this top row here is dead with no lights, so that's kind of handy there. So there's uh, 48 lights just in this little section. I could cheat and just do one or two lights to make it kind of, you know, fake it, but I really think I want to do this properly, so that's going to be a huge section right there. And uh, 48 lights at 25 milliamps each, divided by four, that's going to be a lot of energy right there. This is going to have wall power, so I'm not too worried about that. I've got a wall work to fit whatever needs that I can come up with. This back section here, uh, this little bit has a little red sphere in there, and that is internally lit on the show. I've been watching season 3 over the last few days. I've got about 10 episodes down and another 13 to go. And I'm just concentrating on what the lighting situation is like in this model. And there's a heck of a lot of it. Lots of blinking lights, some fixed, but not too many of those. A few lights over on this side. I'm going to need a light back here to uh, illuminate a room that should be back here so I'm going to have to create some styrene walls and over here you can see I made this piece of styrene basically I took this side and just traced it onto a sheet of styrene and cut it out so I'm going to have to create a fake room over here this is where the uh, space pod goes and back here this uh, section of wall there's nine panels total this entire thing is lit up with a really low, even ambient light. So what I'm thinking about doing that is either putting a piece of paper, white paper, to just uh, shroud out the clear glass. I could also, uh, what's this stuff? There's, uh, Rust-Oleum makes a frosted glass spray. And this stuff here just basically evens things out and makes it uh, kind of blurry like in the photo there. That could work. The piece of paper or vellum like I'm thinking is primarily going to be it. And the one thing I don't want to do is to have individual LEDs pointing at this because this will still create a lot of soft uh, spots everywhere. So what I'll probably do, and I'm going to have to do some tests on this first and I'll certainly record all those, is put a whole bunch of LEDs down along the bottom here pointing towards the inside of the hull right there so it bounces back into here. That is the best way to create bounce light, and uh, you know it's certainly a popular trick. Even Stanley Kubrick did it on uh, the 2001 film to get all that real even lighting. So uh, that should work. Uh, it's definitely going to be, let's see, another the three panels each. So if you gave each one one LED, there's nine LEDs. So really we're looking at 27, 30 of them just for this one section here. And what I may also do is put some white LEDs ringing along on the outside here pointing down to add some more light in. I should be able to get away with just putting them in the bottom here. Definitely none will be pointing at the wall though. Uh, these upper computer parts here, let's see if I can uh, gently take this lid off easily or not. So there is a ton of little buttons here they're uh, sticking out basically there is yep so we do have some photo etch replacements here so I will be replacing this and this is another thing I'll talk about with the uh, fiber optics and everything as well in a second but each one of these little guys here is fully lit so I'm gonna have to be running a lot of fiber optic right along here and that is going to have to string either straight down the back where I'll make a hole and each one of these will have its own individual LED for that or uh, I'd have to run them all together somewhere else and hide all that wiring so it will be definitely a tough trick and over here 
You can definitely see this interior here where that red sphere goes. There's lots of lights going on here and over there. Not so many on this wall as I had mentioned. But over here where the space pod launches, that definitely needs to go. This door here, I could cut that out and create a fake room. There's uh, something going on back there. In the Season 3, a lot of the characters emerge through here if they've been under on Deck 2 instead of taking the elevator or the stairway. Speaking of the elevator, there is a light that comes up through here and one that goes through the top. Each of these holes for the freezer tubes, each one of those will have its own light, lighting those up. The control panel here will have two main green lights for the radar. There's going to be some yellow in here, and then there's whole banks of lights. And again, I'm sure there's, here's the photo etch right there. So that's uh, hundreds of holes right there easily. This is all going to be done with fiber optics, as I had mentioned. Fortunately, I have a supply of this on hand. I get all my fiber optics from the fiber optics store. You can find them on eBay or get stuff off their uh, website directly. They've got really great selections. The only other competitor I found for fiber optics is Plastruck. And uh, while they do some great styrene work overall, their prices and quantity for fiber optic is just really bad fiber optic store you can get sampler packs to start you off for like 30 bucks or so it's really really great deals going on there and uh, as you can see here I've got four basic sizes 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 and one millimeter I'm hoping to get some two millimeter and three millimeter in uh, because a lot of these holes in the photo etch are just about the perfect size all these tiny ones are just about exactly 0.25 so uh, I really hate this size because it's really thin and di difficult to deal with, but it will fit if I can get it in real easy there, just like that. It does fit perfectly. Not all of these are 0.25. There's a lot of 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and there's a few that look to be a full 3 millimeters. If I can spot those real quick, probably like them right there. So uh, lots of variety on that. I will be showing you all the tricks with fiber optics when I get to that, so have no worries. Uh, I figure if you're going to do this kit, you really should do it as best as you can, and I'm hoping to show you a really good level of stuff. All the blinking lights in here is going to require some CMOS work, which is little black chips, computer chips. They're kind of easy to deal with, but at the same time, it's not a skill I'm totally familiar with. I may be able to show you some simple tricks with those. We'll see when I get to that. Uh, but already, even though the only parts I've glued together are these support walls here, it's time to think about lighting and where everything goes because we're going to have to make channels, we're going to have to drill holes in parts, and uh, figure out where all that is going to be. So like under here, under the control console, I've drawn an outline of where that goes. I'm going to have to drill out a nice huge hole right there to uh, get all the wires coming through it. There aren't too many other places like that in the deck at all uh, because in a lot of cases the wires can slip under the edge. Now if I'm going to put some lights in here, for instance, there is no lighting in this small area directly, but if this door is open, there is some light coming from back here and this is the piece that goes on the front there. So this is a self-enclosed area. So I really may, I'm strongly considering drilling out a lot of these doors. So a single LED back here is going to be good. Uh, I previously mentioned that these panels here, these uh, struts or pylons, this internal area should be a flashing, uh, slowly flashing yellow light. And uh, I don't quite know how I'm going to achieve that yet. If, they, if Mobius had cast this in clear plastic, it would have been really easy. If I manage to afford a resin uh, making kit, a mold making kit, I may be able to make casts of these, in which case I'll show you that whole process. Otherwise, what I'm thinking about doing is aiming some LEDs from the ceiling over against each area just to kind of fake the look rather than achieve it directly.